Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the Alt and F4 combination is not working on your Windows computer. So if you're trying to initiate the shutdown menu or if you're trying to close an active window that might be appearing on your desktop, Alt 4 definitely has many applications, particularly to power users. So I just wanted to make a quick tutorial how to go ahead and go about resolving that if you notice that this function key is giving you a hassle. So there are BIOS options that you could probably explore, but that is going to be motherboard specific. There's so many different ones out there. Uh, if I put a BIOS video up, I'd probably get a bunch of complaints from people saying that the, the options that I'm showing don't match what theirs has and whatnot. So I'm going to show a more universal fix for this tutorial, but if it doesn't resolve your problem, you're more than welcome to go ahead and look up your specific computer's manufacturer online, go through the BIOS options that are applicable for your computer. So, But hopefully this method should work. I don't want to discount it before we even begin. So let's go ahead and jump right into it and start by opening up the start menu. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, should go back to regedit editor. Want to go ahead and right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to select yes. And now before you do anything in the registry, I would highly suggest that you create a backup of it. So in case you mess something up, you can always go back to a restored registry. So in order to do that, it's very simple. Go ahead and select the file tab, left click on it, and then select export. And the file name, just name it something that makes sense. Usually I would suggest a date in which you're making the backup and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. Make sure export range is selected to all and then just click the save button when you're ready to confirm. So once you've made your backup, you want to go expand the HK current user folder. So either double click on it or left click on a little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Now you want to go ahead and do the same thing for the software folder. So go ahead and expand that should be a folder that says Microsoft, expand that one as well. Scroll down a little bit on this page or listing until you get to Windows. Go ahead, double click on that. Current version folder, again, what we've been doing, you want to expand that folder. And should be a policies folder a little bit further down on here. Expand that one as well. And then finally, there is an explorer folder that appears right underneath that tree. Now on the right side here, you want to go right click on a blank area, select new, and then select DWORD 32-bit value. Now this is very important here guys, okay, I'm going to have it up on the screen in the video. You can see it on the screen and I will also have text on the screen, pretty big letters here, so just make sure you type it in exactly as it appears. So type in no, so N-O, win, W-I-N keys k e y s please note there are no spaces in here at all so again no win keys and once you have it exactly as it appears on my screen and that's very important guys okay i always get people commenting about not working and whatnot i feel like people aren't spelling this stuff right to be honest so once you have it as it appears hit enter on your keyboard now you want to go ahead and double click on it Set your value data to zero. So it should automatically be zero, hopefully, if you just have to create it. If the value is already in here, you want to just go ahead and double click on it and then you'll get greeted with the same prompt. And just set value data to zero. Select OK once you're done with that. Go ahead and close out of here. And hopefully that should have been able to resolve your problem, guys. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.